So thank you guys so much for asking me all these questions. Asking all them questions. Asking all them questions. Why are you asking all them questions? So today's video, I'm sorry if I sound a little too excited, but today's video is a little different because I'm going to be asking juicy, juicy, juicy questions that you, ma'am, sir, missy, mister, asked. Anyways, I did try out something new with my hair, which is dish. I actually really, really like it. I'm kind of feeling it. But anyway, I look cute or whatever. If you want to see how I got this motherfucking look, then keep on motherfucking watching. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Like the button down below. Also, hit that dumb notification bell. So you can be notified when I upload another video. I don't know why I'm so excited now. Like I just got finished filming this video and I do my intro last. Now I'm so hyped up. Maybe it's because I look cute. I'm just feeling myself. Okay, I need to calm down and let you guys watch the video. So let's get right into it, peoples. Anyways, um, so right before I start my answers, um, answering the questions, the first thing I'm taking is this P. Louise. P. Louise right here. And I've originally been showing this in the shade Rumor 02, but today I'm taking it in Rumor 03, just in case you guys don't know. I'm sorry, I keep looking this way because I did my little, you know, cute or whatever. So here's the disc. So the first question we're gonna be answering is, do I see myself having kids? Um, anytime soon or just in general throughout my whole life. So the answer to that is no. So I guess it's a two answer question. I don't, I mean, I would love, I love the feeling of being or just the thought of being a mom. I think it's super cute how you can, um, have someone you can teach and you can shape the for the world for better, you know, like prepare them for the world and just try to do your best and also see someone grow up to be not you, but someone that you shape for life. You know what I mean? Um, so yes, the thought of that would be really cute. And I do, that's what honestly kind of makes me want to have a kid. But at the same time, it's just like, I don't know if I'm ready to give up so much liberty that I have now as a single like non-mother person and not saying that parents can't achieve their goals. I'm not saying that because I'm all for like single mothers, single fathers, or, you know, parents in general together, even if they're together to achieve those goals. Um, but I definitely do know that they are harder. Like it's a little bit harder um, to achieve because sometimes um, as mothers, you put yourself, your not yourself first you put your kids first and always their necessities always come first um and i hope you guys don't take that the wrong way for those that are single mothers or just mothers in general or parents um and i'm it's really coming from a good place i'm just saying personally for me i don't think i would be ready for that plus there's a funny story time when i took care of my nephew I called my friend crying. So let's just leave that at that. <laughs> Maybe in the future. So after we apply that primer from P. Louise, we're gonna be taking our first color um, and I'm gonna be using this crown palette that I got on my BoxyCharm. And these are the colors to it. So first we're gonna be taking this color right here. Sorry, this color right here. The second question I have gotten is, the second question is, do I know how to sing? And to that question, I guess I shall just sing for you. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't, I'm not a really good singer. I feel like I can sing. But then again, I don't know if it's just me thinking I can sing and it's just another hidden talent I have. Because when I be singing in the shower, like honestly, I really be liking it. I really do. Like, <laughs> I really like that song um, by, what's her face? 
I couldn't think of her name for a minute. I really like that song by Alicia Keys called If I Ain't Got You. And I feel like I can, I can hit those notes, but then again, I don't know if it's just the sound of the water that kind of makes my voice sound prettier. So, I mean, I can do a sing, a singing challenge video if you guys want me to, um, but if I, feel, if I feel confident, I'll sing a little piece for you today on this video, okay? The, the second color we're gonna be taking is from the same palette and it is this orangey color right here. Okay, so another question I've been getting is, do I know how to cook? So yes, I know how to cook. It's not perfect. Sometimes my rice be coming out a little too soggy. Sometimes it comes a little too salty. Sometimes it needs a little bit of extra salt. But the good thing is that my boyfriend honestly be eating whatever I make. So he definitely tries to be encouraging, um, but you know, you know, yes, I know how to cook. Como aprendiste a maquillarte? So how did you learn to do your makeup? Like do your own makeup? Well, YouTube. Um, but I do want to just disclaim or, or just say that art has really always been an interest I've always had. Because looking back now, I just thought like, oh, it was just random. I got into makeup. But really, makeup is art. It's a way of self-expression. Um, and in middle school and in high school, I used to take all the electives I could like for, like that were in art. So I took painting. I took like the, the clay, the pottery class. I took that, I took a drawing class, I took um, the photography class in my high school that they offered in Fairfield. When I used to go here in Dixie Heights High School, I took all of those painting classes and stuff like that because I loved art. I used to draw, um, I, have, I don't draw anymore, but I used to draw all the time. I love art. I know I probably got off of the way how I learned to do makeup, but that's honestly tied all in into learning makeup. So I hope that answered your questions. Um, next is, <laughs> how do you like the YouTube process? So I believe like the making of the YouTube videos is hard for me because I'm not an organized person. I'm, I don't like editing. I like making the videos. I like, like filming the videos. I like taking my time into doing the makeup. I just don't like editing, but as far as uploading and making my own thumbnail, that's a little different. I love that. Um, so that's, I hope that answers that question. And let's move on to the next part of this because I've been talking a lot and I haven't been focused on this for a minute. So, so real quick, taking this palette now, this one is the Ace Beauty Vintage John palette. That little yellow right there called Daybreak. And we're gonna be applying it right here and just kind of, and just kind of blending that out in between the orange. Okay, so the next question, and this is from the same person, how do you like the process of makeup? To be very honest, I freaking love it. I love it, it does take a lot of time because you really do have to focus the placement of the makeup, um, stuff like that, and like plan out what look you wanna do and I love it. I love it because it, it's very soothing. It kind of calms me down. It makes me like put, like go a little slower because I'm a fast talker. I'm a face pass person. Um, <clears throat> and so it just kind of makes me slow down and focus on what I have to do and just really relax on that. So it's very kind of therapeutic for me. So now taking this color fade, which is this dark brown right here. And I'm gonna be doing that in the crease. So the next question is what is your year goal? So a question that kind of ties into that one is my life goal. Um, honestly, I'm still kind of building it as I go, like I said, start to mature a little bit more, so start to experiment more things in life. I feel like our life goal we have one kind of set in mind already at this age, at least most of us should, but I feel like we keep, we keep like molding it into something different or adding to it as we go through life. But as of right now, I would say that my life goal is just generally being happy. 
Um, and by that, I mean really pursuing my makeup. So I really, that's, this is something I really wanna do through my life and um, through this, eventually be able to call it not just a passion, but also a job that can sustain myself. Um, and I would definitely say that my li overall life goal is just to be stable uh, financially and happy. So being able to say, like being able to really enjoy life, um, be happy at my job and be able and have the time and opportunities to do other stuff besides just work, like work, 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 and focusing at work. I want to be able to travel and then still come back home and be stable. You know what I mean? I hope I'm not getting confusing, but that's honestly my life goal. Now, the question about COVID-19. Do I, what do I think of COVID-19, also known as the coronavirus? So I was really like hesitant into answering this question because I don't want to come off as ignorant, nor do I want to come off as a crazy person, I guess you could say. But COVID-19, what do I think? I think COVID-19 is not real. Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. So I definitely for sure think it is real. It's an um, it's not even that I think it, I know it's real. Um, I do think, however, and so I think some people are immature about it and just not careful. I do think we should be taking precautions, especially now since a lot of people are becoming a little bit more um, prone to it, you know? And I know there's a lot of other sickness that was, um, sicknesses and bacteria that we are exposed to as well, and I understand that. But there's a reason why this one has really been something more worldwide because it must be something that's a little bit stronger. So I do think that for those that are being ignorant people and think that, oh, we should not, who cares, guys? We can go out, let's go party and get, gather more than like 20 people. I think that's just being ignorant and selfish. But I think as long as we're taking care of ourselves, we should be good. So going back to that crown palette, we're gonna be taking this very shimmery brown. So just applying that to our lid. So the shade I'm using on the tear duct is this shade right here called Sunny Sun. So, Next, we're gonna be adding the little gold in the tear duct, doing our eyeliner and applying the falsies. So I'm gonna do that real quick and I'll finish up these questions. By the way, the lashes I'm using are from Pretty Little Thing and Tati Lashes, and they look like this, called Chick Flick. Okay, so I finished up my makeup. Um, I just wanted to answer the last few questions. So, with so I finished up my makeup, guys. I just wanted to come in here and ask, I mean, answer the last few questions that you guys had asked me. Um, so the other one that, besides the last one we answered, so how do you like the juntada life? So as maybe some of you know, I have a boyfriend and we live together and how do I like it? Um, I actually, it's okay. I feel like it's just like I imagined it. Um, as far as, Living with a Hispanic, you know, most of us are known guys to be very machistas, which means um, very, like, wannabe, like, macho man type thing. Um, but honestly, my boyfriend isn't like that. He's a very, like, kind um, and understanding, and he's selfless, meaning that he's okay if I don't cook every single day. He's okay if I don't clean every single day. Obviously, my house is not like dirty it's actually very clean um but he's okay with it you know he's very understanding he knows that i work so he's okay he knows that i can't be doing that all the time and what i like about him is from the very like i was very straight up with him from the beginning of the relationship i was like if we ever move in together you know you're gonna have to get we're 50 50 just because you're a man doesn't mean you get any less of a job and just because i'm a woman doesn't like doesn't make me uh, <clears throat> any less capable of doing anything that you're able to do. So we pull the work 50-50 here. He sometimes, be, he sometimes cooks most of the time of the week. If not, if he's tired or just wants me to cook him something, I'll cook for him. Um, but honestly, I like it. There are moments where I wish 
I hadn't done it, like, <clears throat> like, hadn't moved in too early with him. And if you guys want a story time of how I met my boyfriend, how we moved in in the process, and I'll definitely be down to do that as well. Um, but it's just, you know, it has its moments. But overall, I'm happy that we live together. I love him, he loves me, and that's it, boo. So I hope I answered all of your questions. And if I didn't, I'm so sorry. I'll try to make a second video answering questions. Um, so if you guys want to see any more videos like this or have any other additional questions, then you know, just drop them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the likes button. If you want to see how this look looks on picture, then don't forget to hit me up on Instagram at underscore makeup with Yvonne. Or you can check me out on Facebook and I'll make sure to link all my social medias down below as well. And until next time, guys, thank you most so for watching. I love you all. Stay safe. Wash your hands. I love you all so much. And till next time. So this is a bonus part and y'all can judge for yourself if I can sing or not. Okay. <sighs> So here's a song called If I Ain't Got You. <clears throat> Yvonne, let's take the mic. Some people want it all, but I don't want nothing at all. If I ain't got you, baby, if I ain't got you, baby. Some people want diamond rings, but I don't want nothing at all. If I ain't got you, baby. I can't sing that part. If I ain't got you, baby. Yeah. <laughs> so that was like definitely not the same tone, but y'all get the point. So you decide if I can sing or not. <laughs> and then leave your comment down below. But anyways, guys, I love y'all so much. And until next time, bye. Oh,